always a rainbow within reach on animal So good to see you again. The rest of the gang is already here. Let's see what Pig is up to. Hi, Pig. What are you painting? Can you tell what it is? Is it a sheep? That's right. It's a black sheep. Oh, I want to paint a black sheep too. Let's see. A little bit here. Oh! What's the matter, Hedgehog? My painting looks awful. It doesn't look like a sheep at all. Oh, I'm sorry. Huh. I don't like my sheep. <gasps> oh, I have an idea. <laughs> Okay, I'm done. Wow, that's a lot of black. I didn't like how my sheep was turning out, so I made it a big fluffy sheep. I like it. Mr. Goose, Mr. Goose, can we make black the color of the day? Hedgehog, that's a great idea. Presenting black. Crunching leaves, but only black leaves. <gasps> I see one. Let's look for more. Let's look for one more. Do you see it? There it is. <laughs> We did it! <laughs> Yay! See you!
Which ant is black? There it is! Black ant. Which dog is black? There it is! Black dog. Which feather is black? There it is! Black feather. Which bowl is black? There it is! Black bowl. Very good! It's story time! Yay! Gather round, everyone! What book are we reading? We're reading this one. It's called Don't Wake the Baby. In this story, a brother and sister try to be very quiet so they don't wake the baby. Let's see if they're successful. Let's begin. Don't Wake the Baby. Written and illustrated by Win T. Kim Lien. Translated by Alicia Berger. Ever since Mom came back with the baby, Eve and John have not been happy. They are not allowed to make noise when the baby is sleeping. But the baby is always sleeping. They are not allowed to run in the house. They are not allowed to chat at snack time. They are not allowed to scream no matter what. But the toughest rule is this one. When the baby is asleep, Eve and John must whisper. If they want to laugh, they can only giggle softly. But one day, the story they are reading is so funny that they can't help laughing. Oh, no! The baby is sleeping! The baby wakes up crying. Mom is angry. She yells at them to go play outside. Eve is sad. She doesn't like being yelled at. John comforts her. He says that it will be more fun to play outside. They can be as loud as they want. After playing soccer for a while, Eve and John are happy again. John kicks the ball. Goal! The ball flies across the garden. Bang! Oh, no. The baby is awake. What will happen now? The baby cries. The baby is so loud that his crying breaks the milk bottle. It cracks the pot. It cracks the window. The baby is so loud that his crying lifts the roof off. Their brother won't stop crying. Eve and John rush inside. Eve holds the baby and sings, but the baby keeps crying. John dances. He does tricks. But the baby keeps crying. What makes a baby stop crying? Oh, soon Eve and John are crying, too. Mom picks up the baby. She comforts him. She sings a lullaby. The baby stops crying. Now Eve and John understand. It's impossible for babies to be quiet, so it's better to just not make noise. Shh. The end. Thank you, Mr. Goose. Thank you for reading with me. Kids, it's time for a sing-along with Mr. Frog. Yay! Remember to say hello when you see him. 
Hello, kids. Hello, Mr. Frog. Let's sing a counting song about potatoes. Potatoes? Yes, potatoes. It goes like this. One potato, two potatoes, three potatoes, four. Five potatoes, six potatoes, seven potatoes more. One potato, two potatoes, three potatoes, four. Five potatoes, six potatoes, seven potatoes more. Are you ready to count potatoes with me? Yeah! yeah. Let's go! Here we go! One potato, two potatoes, three potatoes, four. Five potatoes, six potatoes, seven potatoes more. Again! One potato, two potatoes, three potatoes, four. Five potatoes, six potatoes, seven potatoes more. Ooh, that was fun! That was wonderful! Thank you for singing with me! Thank you, Mr. Frog! Goodbye! Here's something we already did. Let's do it again. Hey, everybody. Let's practice our letters by playing the alphabet game. Yay! I want to hear you, too. Let's all play the alphabet game. When I show you a letter, say its name. Are you ready? Yeah! What's this letter? A! What's this letter? A! What's this letter? H. What's this letter? K. Now let's do it fast. H A X K X A H K H X K A H K X A. Nice work, everybody. That's how you play the alphabet. When you see a letter, you say its name! Woo! The letter A! <laughs> Hi, Pig! Have you seen Mr. Frog? Yes, I have. He's on that log. Hey! Frog! Log! Those words end with the same sound. Listen. Frog, log. You're right. They do end with the same sound. That means they rhyme. Here are some more words that rhyme. This is pig. He's wearing a... Wig! <laughs> that looks silly on me. Pig, wig... They rhyme. Here's a cook. Who's holding a... Book! Cook. Book. They rhyme. What's on the rug? It's a wiggle... Bug! Rug. Bug. They rhyme. You're good at this. Here's one more. I see a box. And look, there's... Fox! <laughs> box. Fox. They rhyme. That was fun! And now we're done. Pig, you made a rhyme! Fun done! <laughs> You're right! <laughs> Let's go make more rhymes! Yeah! And now, it's time to say goodbye. Let's sing our goodbye song. Goodbye, goodbye, it's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye, let's stop to say goodbye. Before we say hello again. We need, we need to, to say, say goodbye. goodbye. Goodbye, friend. Goodbye. 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 <laughs> Time to rest. Take a deep breath in. Let it out. 
Good. Listen. Little Bo Peep has lost her sheep and doesn't know where to find them. Leave them alone and they'll come home, bringing their tails behind them. Bo Peep has lost her sheep and doesn't know where to find them. Leave them alone and they'll come home, bringing their tails behind them. Has lost her sheep and doesn't know where to find them. Leave them alone and they'll come home, bringing their tails behind them. <laughs>